The number one is Apex Tool Gear Wrench. If you're never really sure what challenges your next job may pose, the Apex Tool Gear Wrench might be a good choice. It can extend to a length of 48 inches when you need leverage, or you can shorten it to 29 inches for working in tight areas. The price approximately $86. This product is rated with 4.8 stars from 408 customer reviews, a customer said. I use and abuse this thing almost daily on heavy equipment. Well worth the money, stay off the tool truck, buy it here. One factory addition would make this tool perfect. The bottom of the handle should have threads and have a strike plate added. I like to use mine to tap and push pins on equipment out of bores. I know it's not designed to do this, but it would be a great modification. When the strike plate, similar to what's on the cap, end of pry bars, wears out, we unthread it and put a new one on. Another happy customer said, Great pry bar, it's the smaller one out of both, but don't like the size fool you, it's extremely strong and doesn't bend at all, I used it every day as an auto tech and it is perfectly sized, a fellow tech here has the bigger one and he has to borrow mine because it's more manageable in areas with limited space, yet I have yet to find something that that his can pry that I can't also a very good buy, the equivalent pry bar from my local Matco truck was about $250, so the same exact one for sixty dollars as a steal. The second product is Stanley Fat Max Extreme Fu Bar E. Demolition jobs typically require tools that combine toughness with power, such as the Stanley Fat Max Extreme Fu Bar 3. It makes working on stone and wooden structures a little easier on the arms, and incorporates a textured grip for dependable control. The price is around $80, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. This product has average 4.7 stars from more than 341 customer reviews, a customer said. Well, I'm good at destroying things. Feelings, hearts inanimate objects. When I saw the FUBAR 3 I immediately knew it would aid me on my quest to destroy. And it has. Second day I had it I got to use it to destroy a fence and the fastener points on the adjoining post. Made short work of it. It's really just a big hammer when ya look at it. I look forward to years of destruction to come with my Fat Max Extreme Fubar 3 if you want it, buy it. You'll definitely find a use for it whether it's ridding your neighborhood of drug dealers or tearing down a house. One year update, I have owned the FUBAR 3 now for a year. Things thing at hash percent dollar stuff up. I have had on numerous occasions found a use for this tool where I never would have even considered it had it been in a lineup for consideration. For instance I had to remove a bunch of U-fasteners from chicken wire fence line. I had initially grabbed a shovel and some wire snips to do the job. I got through a few pieces of wire. Another happy customer said, I have a 20 pounds Wilton sledge so I wanted a lighter sledge hammer or sledge like tool for when I don't need such a big hammer and this tool was perfect. Upon unboxing you can see how high quality this tool is and how nice it looks. I almost felt bad marring up the nice metallic paint finish that's how nice it looks as well as how durable it feels. We will see how it holds up to sledgehammer tasks such as hitting a metal wedge to split wood and demolition. I'm very confident that this product will be able to handle the abuse without breaking due to the one-piece forged construction and the great thing about being a one-piece forged steel tool is that any misstrikes to the handle will most likely do little to nothing. An unhappy customer said, The FUBAR 3 is a really great rough demolition tool. It's not something you'll use around anything that you might keep because it's too beefy to use for delicate demo. 
It's heavy and really solid, it doesn't flex at all. The 2x4 jaw doesn't work as well as I expected it to, the primary reason I bought this. The throat just isn't deep enough to really get a good purchase on the boards. The pry end won't pull a nail of any size head and is too thick to really be able to get under something without having to use a smaller pry bar first. Would I buy it again? Probably not, knowing what I know now. I'd go with a tried and true big pry bar. The next product in our list is Duckbill Deck Wrecker. The Duckbill Deck Wrecker makes quick work of removing lumber, which is ideal if your job includes demolishing patios or old wooden floors. Its two-prong design allows it to slide smoothly under its target, usually cleanly lifting the board in one piece. The price approximately $69. This product has average 4.8 stars from more than 939 customer reviews, a customer said. I don't usually write product reviews but this item deserves a review. I was looking for a way to demolish my deck and after some research, I stumbled upon this and some other similar tools. The competition seemed to have issues with bending and coupled with the great reviews, led me to pick the deck wrecker. I am so glad I did. When I received it I just wanted to test it on a few boards to see how it worked. Well, the few boards came up so easily that I just kept going and in less than an hour and a half, I demolished my 22 feet by 16 feet deck. I can't stress enough how easy and quick this tool is. It blew me away that it could pull up boards that were very securely screwed in as easily as it did. I have nothing but good things to say about this so if you need to take the boards off a deck, stop searching and buy this right now. Another happy customer said, I took a bunch of pallets apart with several different types of crowbars, hammers, tools, etc., and after a ton of time and using many choice words, I got this. What a time saver! I can dismantle a whole pallet in under 5 minutes and not break a sweat. Will you break some boards? Probably, you're using pallets. If the wood is halfway decent, you shouldn't break any, but if it's splitting or cracked, don't blame the tool. I usually pop one end off, then the middle, then when I go to the other end, I put my foot on the end that has already been pulled to keep the board from flipping up while I get the last end of the board off. It's not rocket science. I've had two friends use this for their decks. After breaking their necks trying to get boards up, they used this said it wasn't even effort to remove boards. Had spent hours getting a few boards up, and minutes doing the rest, which was more than half the job. An unhappy customer said, This is one mean wrecking tool. I used it for deck removal. It just ripped the deck boards right off the screws. But and here it comes. As tough a tool as it is, the head is held on to the shaft with a little pin ball bearing device. The ball bearing fell out on the second day. Hence the head fell off. I did make a repair. When I contacted the company, they were aware of the poor design. That's it. No gee I'm sorry or we'll send you another pin. If you buy this, it will fail so be prepared to make an in-field repair. The next product is Mayhew Dominator. The thick, comfortable handle on the Mayhew Dominator is designed to minimize hand fatigue while you're working, and it features a durable, thin blade that's easy to slip into narrow spaces. At 58 inches long, it offers some serious leverage, too. The price is around $74, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. There are 76 reviews which average rating is 4.7 stars for this product, a customer said. I work in a heavy equipment shop and bought this as a supplement to the crazy expensive snap-ons and matcos, etc etc. I used this pry bar maybe five times and the striking cap part of the upper handle broke clean off without ever actually using the striking cap. 
I contacted Mayhew, the manufacturer by email, and within a month was sent a brand new pry bar. Now, the bar itself is pretty darn sturdy under some heavy applications. I just hope the tip of the handle holds up and it was just a flaw on my old bar. Now I have two large bars and I guess I can abuse the crap out of the broken one. I'm actually pretty happy about the Mayhew customer service, just hope that I won't have to use it again on another broken bar. Another happy customer said, This thing is the bee's knees. Who can afford a pry bar this size off the truck? I've been a mechanic at the local Caterpillar dealer for 16 years working on heavy equipment and I can tell you that this thing holds up well and is worth its weight in gold when you need it. An unhappy customer said, I was quite disappointed when I got my hands on this newest pry bar. Sure it is well made, but it is not all I had expected it to be and no supporting info is really available other than incorrect comments from others. I have most of this series. 7 in all from 6 inches through 42 inches, Mayhew 40159 42C. I was impressed with the 42 inches bar and its 3 quarters shank. I read someone else with the 58 inches claim it had a 7 eighths shank so I figured it is a worthy addition. It isn't. It is the same 3 quarters shank as the $49 42 inches 40,159. I find spending $30 for 16 inches of additional leverage to be a waste when the shank is no more solid. I don't see it any more capable than the 42 and will likely just order a second one. See my pick above. The bar with the large print is the 58 inches or is it? The shank and handle is really no different, just $30 for 16 inches of steel. The next product is Vestal Deluxe. If the Vestal Deluxe has an odd-looking design, that's because it is made specifically to help you break down pallets efficiently. Its articulating head won't shatter or splinter boards, but the widely spaced forks may prevent you from accessing some tight spaces. This product is available on Amazon for $53. There are 590 reviews which average rating is 4.7 stars for this product, a customer said. My neighbor is a delivery driver in the next large city over. This means he's met a lot of companies, made a bunch of friends, and they offer him things that they can't sell. One day, they came home with their truck stacked as high as possible with pallets. Over the next couple days, they sat out there with a saw cutting through the nails before giving up and redesigning the garden boxes they were going to build. They offered us pallets as well, but after looking at how much the saw blades were, we couldn't justify it. It goes from free to expensive real quick. And it took them 15 minutes to cut off three boards and ruined a blade each time. We needed another way. I pulled out my Google Foo and discovered pallet busters. I saw homemade ones, commercial ones, hydraulic ones, a whole menagerie of them. Then I started searching through Amazon. This buster has the articulating bottom, meaning it's more gentle on the wood and moves how it needs to with the strength still to pull them right out. The pallet we used this on initially has been outside for at least six months. We also. Another happy customer said. I built a bedroom enclosure in a big open space I have in the upstairs of our home had seen some cool pallet walls others had done, and decided to do mine with pallets. The pallets were fairly easy to find and collect, but taking them apart proved a little tough. Most pallet builders use a screw shank nail with glue to put these together. I started taking mine apart with a flat bar and a sawzall, which worked but very time-consuming. Once I saw this heavy-duty pallet buster I had to have one. It did the work with half the effort, broke a one-quarter of the pallet boards and is very sturdy rugged. 
Pallets are made of several different types of woods pine, oak, poplar, hemlock etc. The oak ones are sturdiest and the pallet buster can pull them apart. Some of the lighter pine ones the buster will pull the nails through the board without breaking them. Better to work slow and let it do its work cheers. Kurt greater than tilde e tilde. The next product is Titan Tools 17005. If you're thinking about repainting or papering your walls, you might want to pick up the Titan Tools 17005 before you start. Each unit in this two-piece set includes a nail puller opposite a flat end for scraping, so you don't have to swap tools in the middle of a job. The price is around $14, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. The average rating of this product is 4.8 stars with more than 991 customer reviews, a customer said. These are great, super useful and pretty indestructible, precisely ground, mirror polished. The small one is really nice and portable, the midsize is good, and the large one has its uses, too, like moldings and lighter duty, prying where you don't need a real crowbar. They're quite sharp, and depending on what you're doing, you might want to dull them, or sharpen them even further, so you've got options. Great scrapers. Reasonable price for a lifetime tool. Another happy customer said, This Titan 3P set of pry bars seems decently made for the price. The pry bars are made of stainless steel and the set included 15-1/2, 17-1/4 long pry bar. The bars are thin enough to be driven easily behind trim, but still stiff enough not to flex or bend too much when prying. I find that using a side-to-side -side motion with the angled end works well for starting and separating baseboard and quarter round from a wall for removal. The angled working ends of these pry bars are nicely beveled, so are easy to drive behind trim, but are not so sharp as to cut you if you accidentally run your hand along the edge. The flat ends are thin and tapered as well as ground flat and square. There is also a nail puller slot in each bar toward the angled end. Overall, I think this set of pry bars is nicely made and was worth what I paid for it here on Amazon, so I'm happy with the purchase. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out. Thank <laughs> you.